your mix up. Please. Let them in. Let them in. Okay, very sorry, pleased. start again. Huh? They close the ball. Very pleased. Very happy with the performance. Um, eight months out of the ring, so there was a bit of rust there, but we got the job done. Um, the guy was extremely tough um, under the chin. And uh, you know he, he did not come over here to give his belt up easily, as as we all saw. Um, so uh, big respect to, to Ronald Quinn. You've got to look forward as well. What what what's next? Um, I see you go back. I'm in the gym tomorrow, and you guys can check to see if I'm lying or not by going on my Instagram and Facebook. I will be in the gym tomorrow. Uh, there's no there's no time to waste now. You know um, this is my ticket right here. This is my ticket to the big time. This is my ticket to challenge all the other world champions uh, in the world in the middleweight division and the super middleweight division. So um, I guess it's you know it's whoever steps up first. Do you think what you proved tonight would have had Andre Ward really worried there? Andre Ward is not in the super middleweight or the middleweight division. But you talk about moving and fighting. Uh, I actually I didn't. This this man here. Did. <laughs> <laughs> One day, if, if, I look to, uh, if I look to move up in weight, but at the moment, like I said, super middleweight and middleweight division. If, if I'm put in the ring with a man, I'll find a way. Chris, I know you said you've got discussions about what's next, but after tonight's experience, can you tell us, is that more likely to be a middleweight or super middleweight? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. you, know, we, we, you know, we'll, we'll speak to the team, we'll, uh, we'll speak with ITV, and it's, it's, it's literally whoever steps up first. But, you know, I, don't, I actually genuinely don't have a, pre a preference. There's, there's so many great fights to be made in both divisions. Um, I'm, I'm just willing to, you know, go with whatever comes my way first. How did you find it the way? Oh, hold on, hold on. This, this is uh, this has to be said now. I, I sent out uh, a message to uh, Badu Jack and James DeGale, and I asked them to choose which one of them will fight Junior once he wins this world championship. And I told them to hurry up because if they don't choose, I'm going to choose for them. And they haven't actually got back to me. And so we are choosing James DeGale. We have seasoned him already. The rest of the team. Yeah. I've told him. I've told him. I've said it from day one. You know, I, I sparred with the guy many years ago, back before I was a pro, and I dealt with him in that ring. I know what he is. I, don't know, I know what I can do to him. Um, and the public, that's a, that's a fight the public want to see. Now we have the platform, so uh, let's, Chris, let's do it. Can you tell us how, uh, when you sent those messages and, and how you sent them? I sent them by tweet and I, and I, and I talked about them in interviews. So on, uh, you can talk to Kugi. Uh, I'm sure I've mentioned that to him. Uh, point of fact is, he's saying he doesn't want any part of Junior. What do you mean? Do you mean you're afraid? Surely you're not afraid. And ITV is the biggest money platform, and this is the flagship of the money, pla uh, the money uh, 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 platform. And so, where can you go? Are you saying you don't want to fight Junior? You can't say that. You know, we're calling you out. This has IBO Jack vacated his belt. Yeah. So that who's who's fighting for that now? Like, you know, there's great fights, there's, there's great fights to be made. And I'm, I'm right in the mix now, so any of these guys. Are... James DeGale. How, how quick might, might you be out? Because if he talks about another, another date. How, how much what? How, how soon might you be out? He April. 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 As soon as that. If we can make this fight with James DeGale, that we shall do. Listen, he, he, you know, he'll, he'll take uh, one or two days. But April, we're ready to go again. ITV have a huge uh, groundswell of subscribers, of people who watch ITV, and they need feeding. And uh, Chris Eubank Jr. is the entertainment. He is the money. He is the flagship. Uh, this belt has just become the most important of them all. Why? Because of who's carrying it. You know, I don't hear anyone talking about the WBA. Okay, at middleweight they talk about Golovkin, and we are, we are going to be in negotiations with him too. So, okay, so I've got to say this now. 
I'm very relaxed and I feel now that lid has been lifted. That they, they put me in this pressure cooker. Okay, now, they are not in the way anymore. They are redundant. We are the world champions. He is, but I'm going to say we, I'm his dad. <coughs> Give me a break. Okay. Um, so where Golovkin is concerned, we're looking to make that fight ASAP at middleweight. So the two we have in mind at middleweight is Golovkin, because we got swindled out of that fight um, uh, in 2016. We got swindled out of that fight. So now those guys are to the side. Now we can plow on ahead and make up for the lost time. Only six months. We only lost six months. He's been right on target. This has been his 25th World Championship fight. Sorry, his 25th fight. Uh, and uh, now we can, now we have a free, a free reign to go forward and, and take. I know Stormers are starving at the moment as well. No fans, you know, fighting in leisure centers in front of 300 people. Um, you know, he, he needs to fight. And we all want that fight. Me more than anybody. So again, um, if that can be made, it will be made, and there's there's no reason it can't be made. On, on this of the three names mentioned, just now, the Lockin, Saunders, and Miguel, have you a preference personally? Uh, honestly, I, I I I don't no, because it's you know I, I I can't I can't really pick a preference because boxing is it's a fickle sport. You can't you can't contain it. You can't control it. Um, so I'm not naive enough to say, oh, I I really want to fight him first and him second, um, but. You know, Saunders is starving, he, you know, and I'm yeah. the food. Yeah. So, uh, you know, without me, he's, he, he hasn't got anything. Um, and, you know, the only thing he has is a win over me. That's, that's his entire career. Um, and I need to write that wrong. And, you know, that, that win, that win, we want a neutral promoter for that particular fight because uh, his promoter, uh, doesn't have, it's not 50-50, it's 99% in their favour and one in ours. We need at least 20%. You can have 80, but not 99. And I've been talking and I, I can hear me... And he's not talking about money, because it's definitely not 80-20 when it comes to the split. We're not talking about, we're not talking about money, we're talking about uh, it being fair, like 50-50 fight. No, we, we'll give you 80%. And we, we, we'll take 20%, that's actually how, that's the, only, that's, that's, that's the way I have to look at that fight. Because it's not Saunders, it's Warren. And the things he does. Can we have a couple more for Chris and then show Reynolds a little bit of respect and we'll get Reynolds in the main seat, is that, if that's alright. Is there another, another couple for Chris? What or? happens if none of these people will play for the moment? Oh, they will, they have, they've got, they have no choice. And if they don't, you know. We've got ITV, and I'm the most exciting fighter in Britain. So in the some, world, somebody, somebody's going to step up. That's right, in the world. In the world, you know. So there's going to be somebody that's going to step up, um, and we have the platform, you know. And this is not just for me. This is for every boxer in Britain, um, you know, to, to get the exposure, to get a shot at proving themselves without having certain other promoters, um, you know, taking everything from them, taking all their rights, um, you know being, you know, taking the lion's share of these fights. The fighter deserves a lion's share, not the promoters. And we're going to put a stop to that. I mean, what we are going to do is alert the fighters to their behaviour and what they've been doing from time and memorial has to stop. You know, Nicola Adams needs to look into her rights, her video rights. You know, Frank Warren, he put on, uh, tonight he put on my fight against um, Thompson. He put on Junior's fight against uh, Saunders. Saunders. Saunders, you know, I did that work, Junior did that work, he shouldn't own those rights, that's got to stop, and all fighters have to understand it isn't right, it is awful, and the Board of Control need to help us uh, stop this uh, injustice, it's wrong. Would you make of them doing that tonight, though, Chris, on, in, the same t in the same time frame that you were fighting? They're scared, family? they're worried, you know, this is, uh, we're the new kids on the block. They don't want us, they don't want anybody taking a piece of their pie. And now we've got uh, most of it. 
a behemoth in, in ITV behind us promoting boxing. And, and they're scared. And they're, they're trying to do everything in their power to, uh, you know, to take away viewers, to, to, to stop us from uh, succeeding. You know, it's, it's, it's a, it was a desperate cry for help uh, you know, in, in Warren putting on our fights tonight, uh, putting them on free view and telling people to, to watch him. Hit, uh, watch, watch Box Nation instead of be on ITV. It, it just shows, uh, it shows his mentality. He knows, he knows we're here. Uh, and, and furthermore, um, I don't actually look at it like that because I think I understand the nature of the human being uh, slightly, uh, I'm slightly more philosophical about it. When you, when you do that, it's only going to make those people actually, I'm thanking Frank for actually doing that because if I'm sitting there and I don't like um, the Eubanks, and history has been made on ITV box office, I I'm going to have to actually switch over, so I'm actually grateful for him, uh, to him for doing that. Thanks, Frank. It's almost promoting it. He promoted it, he did, he promoted it. Is that enough for, for Chris and Chris? One more, one more. How do you practically go about contacting the girls, making an offer, saying... We already have. We just spoke to you guys. So what's he going to do? Is he, is he going to... It's quite easy to avoid though, isn't it? It's not, it's, it's, you know, when you're a fighter, you are compelled to fight when you're being called out. Otherwise, you look like the one thing that you've been fighting against all your life, which is to appear to be a punk. <laughs> what, a, what a word. After, after the oh, tough fight yeah. he's been through, though, it's it unlikely that he'll be ready um, in April to go into a camp straight away. Don't worry, we'll wait. We'll give him a few more weeks, but we'll wait. And then there is no escape, okay? We've been marinating him. <laughs> marinating. Yeah. I was going to say seasoned, but it's marinate. Uh, that's, that's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. Smell that? I can smell it, huh? That's one. Chris Junior, um, what did you make of Reynolds' durability and strength today? Did you expect the fight to go so long as well? Uh, we've never been stopped. Um, you know, I was walking into an unknown situation. I didn't know too much about him, um, <coughs> but you know, full credit to him. Uh, big respect to him for, for, for traveling over to here. Uh, you know, no fans. Uh, you know, everything was, you know, he didn't know what he was getting himself into. And he didn't have to do that. He could have stayed in this part of the world and, and been safe. But he came over here to challenge the best. Um, so full credit to you. Thing. Right, Chris Eubank Jr. has been used to fighting regularly from day one. That's when he's at his best. Eight months was too long out for him. I know. I'm winning seven days a week. You watch him next time out. Even better. Thank you. We'll get Reynolds in, guys.